Hi. Here I am, uh, Dan Berkey, a narcissist who gives a fuck, standing in the brambles. <laughs> this uh, wooded area is located in Henry Hudson Park, a small park here in the Bronx, right across the street from where I live. <laughs> you know, I have to say this is so nostalgic. It reminds me of the place where I grew up, uh, in a small town called Excelsior in Minnesota. Right next to a lake that many people do recognize, Lake Minnetonka. Uh, people remember that for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is that the company Tonka Toys is still located there. They were producing toy trucks, etc., etc., when I was a kid. Anyway, I spent a lot of time out in the woods when I was a kid, in up north Minnesota. Northern Minnesota is absolutely breathtaking. It really is. The Boundary Waters, up near International Falls, and cold. In the winter, forget about it. Ah, oh, man. 30, 40 below, that's before wind chill. I got some practice in on uh, hard winter camping and backpacking. Anyway, I really wasn't planning on talking about that, but uh, the nostalgia just does spring up. It's a nice feeling. Anyway, I've been working on letting go, letting go of things, more specifically letting go of deadlines that were uh, published, say, by filmmakers when their film went into post-production. And NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, wants me to believe that it's all about me. The films are all about me. It's all about Dan. So you got to get your shit together. you got to finish the film for me because I'm the only one that counts. Well, I have news for you. That's bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. And I have been doing the job as I set out for myself to withhold my tongue, button it, when the urge comes to speak, comes to write, comes to send out messages. Because sometimes the, the anger is so profound, is so deep. All I can do is just get up and walk around the apartment for a while and not say anything. Or go outside, I'm doing what I'm doing now, walk, taking a walk in Henry Hunsett Park, which is a beautiful park. Another thing about this park is no matter how beautiful a day is, and it is breathtaking today. It's Wednesday, here, uh, May 18th, I believe it is. Yeah, just breathtaking. There are so few people in the park. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. When I lived next to Central Park on 72nd Street, uh, quite a quite a long time ago, I was always in Central Park, and that park was always mobbed with people. Right, right next to Strawberry Fields Forever, the John Lennon Memorial. Actually, being close to that memorial meant a lot to me. But getting back to the point at hand, these things, these temptations to rear up and be angry at people that are not meeting your own personal deadline, is hard. And I swear that I'm going to keep doing it because I think it will get easier when I face it off more and more and say, no, no, it's their timeline. And sometimes post-production takes forever, it seems. So many problems come up. Well, filmmaking is about problem solving, a constant array of problems, one after the other, and most of them potentially fatal. And the same thing with post-production. It is not easy. It's a big challenge. So that's kind of what I'm working on now. I've withheld the temptation to text, withheld the temptation to call, withheld the temptation to email, angry emails, texts, phone calls, blah, blah, blah. Instead, I texted somebody earlier today, a filmmaker. I never mentioned the film once, which is quite overdue now. Asked him how he was. I know he's moving down to Texas. Uh, 
from uh, New Jersey. A big move, a family move, humongous move. Wanted to know how it was going. I withheld the temptation to berate him about the late film, and he appreciated it when he, when he texted me back saying, hey man, it's really good to hear from you. And you'll be in our thoughts as we go down to Texas. I say, man, uh, maybe if I'm down that way, I'd really love to come and visit you. And he said, well, no, we'll send you a ticket. <laughs> no, no, man. Uh, if you can, if you want to, that is such a great idea, wonderful idea, touching idea. We'll see. No one knows how the future holds. And when he texted that back, I got a reward, a perk that said, hey, you know, if you're nice to somebody that maybe you want to be angry at for your own personal selfish reasons, sometimes something nice happens to you. You don't push somebody away. In a way, you draw them closer by saying, hey, you know, the boat we're in is rough. The times are rough. It's a tumultuous time. And, and it's just about anywhere you look nowadays. I, I think somebody people could exaggerate it, but it seems like wars are turning up everywhere. Now, China wants to pick a fight on India. And China has been talking about picking a fight with us, a real fight. God knows how this is going to turn out. And this is kind of something that I have no control over other than when I get upset about it, and I do get upset about it, I think that's perfectly natural. I talk to people about it. Not in terms of how it affects me personally, Dan Berkey as being the center of the universe, no, but how it affects everybody else in the world. We live in tumultuous times and it's, it's not easy. Man, I wish you guys could be here with me in the park just walking around. The smell, even though I'm still close to the city, smells like a park, man, it smells like nature. And that makes me feel good. The chance to turn NPD around from being this untouchable monster machine is possible. I am never going to give up. Because in the short time that I have been, con been confronting it, challenging it, confronting it, going contrary to what it tells me to do, I've been rewarded with people being nice and thanking me. I'm not used to that. I don't really know how I feel about it now. It just, in all in all, it makes me feel good. I don't know quite how, but it does. And I think that's worth it. I'm not being a ranting asshole, a demanding, selfish asshole. I'm just being another guy. We're all this we're in all this together. It may be a mess sometimes, but you know, thank God we can throw away our masks. More and more that's true now. I hope that lasts. It's it's about time, don't you think? Where we could just sort of chuck the masks. But enough. I'll talk to you later, guys. I'm sure I'll have some other thoughts. Maybe today, maybe some other day. Have a really great time. I'm going to try to touch the button here without knocking the phone down, which I did the last time I tried to do this. Uh...